Indonesia can store up to 17% of the world's blue carbon reserves through its blue carbon ecosystem that consists of mangroves, seagrasses, and tidal swamps. Hi everyone, I am Olivia Ilmi, a biomedical engineering student from School of Electrical Engineering and Informatics representing Institut Teknologi Bandung for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2022. Speaking about climate change and reducing carbon emission, do you know there is something called a blue carbon ecosystem that can store 3 to 5 times more carbon compared to the terrestrial ecosystem? However, one of the blue carbon sinks in Indonesia, the mangrove population, is decreasing, which can affect the carbon emission to increase. So, what can we do about it? Before we go deeper, let's find out what the blue carbon ecosystem is. Blue carbon is a term for carbon captured by the world's ocean and coastal ecosystems. Referring to the Blue Carbon Initiative, 83% of the global carbon cycle is circulated through the ocean. In the Blue Carbon Ecosystem, there is a carbon sink that is represented by the sea grasses, mangroves, and sea marshes. These coastal systems, although much smaller in size than the planet's woods, it sequesters this carbon at a much faster rate and can continue to do so for millions of years. Indonesia is a country with the largest mangrove in the world. This very rich blue carbon ecosystem makes Indonesia a country that can store up to 17% of the world's blue carbon reserves. According to Ayosina et al. in 2022, although mangrove loss is only a small fraction, about 6% of the total deforestation in Indonesia, it is estimated that if the deforestation were stopped, total carbon emission will reduce by 10 to 31%. Looking at the mangrove deforestation issue, we need to protect the marine ecosystem for the sustainability of Indonesia's carbon sink. Indonesia's blue carbon ecosystem are vital carbon sinks, and at the same time, a global climate risk when released. When degraded or destroyed, this blue carbon ecosystem will emit the carbon they have stored for centuries into the atmosphere and oceans and become sources of greenhouse gases. Experts estimate that as much as 1.02 billion tons of carbon dioxide are being released annually from degraded coastal ecosystems, which is equivalent to 19% of emissions from tropical deforestation globally. Protecting a healthy marine index can help to preserve Indonesia's blue carbon ecosystem. On the other hand, the Minister of Marine Affairs and Fisheries of Republic Indonesia, Sakti Wahyu Trangono, stated that Indonesia's blue carbon ecosystem also has a potential to be a mechanism to create economic value through carbon trading in Indonesia. Therefore, what can we do to protect our blue carbon ecosystem? Aligning with the international efforts to remain within 1.5 degrees Celsius of the Earth temperature, Indonesia has pledged to reduce 29% of its emissions by itself and 41% with the international assistance by 2030. Achieving this target requires the incorporation of reliable scientific evidence into policy. Thus, the cooperation between agencies and stakeholders in academia and public policy is highly essential in Indonesia. As an Indonesian citizen, we can help the blue carbon conservation through indirect and direct methods. Indirect methods can be done with research publication for our stakeholders and create campaigns about blue carbon to increase awareness. Direct methods can be pushed through collaborating with conservation agencies, raising donations to help empower coastal communities, and actively participating in mapping, health survey, and calculating to synthesize information related to the blue carbon ecosystem health index and the economic value of ecosystem services. Now, we know the massive potential of the blue carbon ecosystem in Indonesia and its ability to capture carbon and reduce the carbon emission. The urgency to protect the blue carbon ecosystem becomes clear as one of the climate action challenges. So, let's raise awareness and actively protect Indonesia's blue carbon ecosystem to support Sustainable Development Goals Number 13, Climate Action. Thank you.